welcome. So I'm out here in the wonderful Peak District. It's a very chilly few days here. <clears throat> I've hired out a, a camping hut, like a shepherd's hut, and a separate cooking area for two days and two nights. Uh, the aim, the aim for being here is just to spend a couple of days listening to some of the US military radio transmissions especially the EAM messages, the emergency action messages. So I'll set up, get the kettle on, get the radio on, and then we'll tune in to some emergency action messages. So I'm listening to 11175 kilohertz 11.175 megahertz on upper sideband this is the hf the high frequency global communication system it's the u.s air force so on this frequency you'll you'll hear a mix of eam emergency action messages and this is the nuclear uh, command and control You'll also hear a lot of aircraft talking to ground, to base, uh, usually through a relay. I'll put all the frequencies that I can find in the link below. I'll also link in some of the websites. There's one particular website which I'll link to that is excellent, well written. Uh, I'm not sure if there's an increase in traffic. I'm assuming they probably will be because of the, the war in Ukraine. I'm here in my little cozy uh, hut. <clears throat> it's basically a, I'd say four foot by 12 foot um, wooden hut with a double bed in a little area here and some power, electricity. Got a heater on here. I've also got the Dutch army uh, wall blanket as well for extra heat. It's very nice, very comfortable. So this is the little kitchen area. There's no heating on in here. Well, apart from I'm just starting to warm, warm the cast iron, but uh, <clears throat> it's quite a decent view. Tonight's tea is going to be really simple. I'm not going to mess about tonight. I'm going to do a like a beef burrito. Very simple. Um, Fry some spices into some minced meat, a little bit of tomato, um, a little bit of tomato in there, coriander, mix in some rice, put on a burrito and eat it. Nice. The HF bands have been really unpredictable today. <clears throat> There's been a, a solar flare, so propagation has been in its boots at times. And then a bit earlier on, when I was 
on 20 meters. The snow came and it just wiped out the bands. It was so hard. No, oh, it's really simple. I'm just um, frying this mincemeat down with some spices, or Mexican spices. Then we're going to add um, this and then um, a little bit of rice, fit that directly into there, and then just put that on a couple of wraps with some coriander with that drink. Ta -da. I've crushed this. I ripped it up and I've crushed it so that it lets out lots of its flavour. Mike Zero, Sierra Zulu Tango. Sierra Zulu Tango. Mike Zero, Sierra. Sierra Zulu Tango, Zulu Tango. Zulu Tango, Zulu Tango. Yeah, you're five by five. You are five by five. From Mike Zero, Sierra Zanzibar Tango. Okay, okay, I copy, I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay, sorry, very sorry, my mistake, but please, not my mistake. Just a couple of years, mistake. Okay, okay, thank you, bye bye. Yeah, thank you very much for your patience, 7 3, bye bye. Good morning. <clears throat> that was a decent sleep. It was well below freezing in the night. Everywhere's a bit frosty. Propagation yesterday was awful. At times it would completely, all the signals would just completely disappear from the scope for five, ten minutes and then would come back again. And then so much noise would follow get all these waves of uh, noise that would just completely wipe out some of the uh, quieter signals so I'm hoping <clears throat> the propagation today will be a bit easier a bit more standard who knows anyway time for a cup of tea and then um, make a start to the day Okay, so I'm, I'm back. So I've travelled back home for two reasons. One, it's back. The Land Rover is back, all fixed up for another year. So I've collected that. <clears throat> so it's good to be back. The second reason why I've travelled back home is because my youngest has volunteered to do litter picking for the community as part of a Duke of, Duke of Edinburgh award. So... <clears throat> I travel back, we've picked some litter, lots of it from the local area, and I've picked up the Land Rover, so happy days. The 100 watt power old coach. Mike Zero, Sierra Zulu Tango. Romeo and Charlie, please call again. I mean, look at that. The sun's beaming through here. Night's going to be lamb with pepper, onion, a chilli, 
and some fresh tomatoes cooked in a bit of this gel crazy spice paste some coriander I might finish off some of this rice as well in it uh, all cooked in there really simple um, I'm going to stick in some cumin to start off with cumin I forgot to bring any garlic with me but I've got some garlic granules they aren't perfect <clears throat> some of them and we'll just add a little bit of salt to help with the cooking and the flavouring. Tonight's drink is uh, finish off a little bit of Sailor Jerry's with some Pepsi or Cola, one or the other. <clears throat> right, I found some foil here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow slow cook this lamb and the spices, peppers and onions and tomatoes and then I'm going to put this foil over the top and then put the lid on top and seal it up and then let that slow cook for an hour about an hour, 60 minutes, 90 minutes something like that depends if I can get this really low or not Mike Zero, Sierra Zulu Tango. 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 I've got, I've just chucked in the coriander stalks, uh, those tomatoes in whole. So I'm going to put the lid on the lid cook. Lovely, lovely view of a Land Rover. <coughs> Teeth cookie. I'm going to flick around 20 metres for a little bit. I might get a contact in, you never know. There may be some activity on the US broadcast. On the, uh, <clears throat> there may be some activity on the 11175 frequency. Mike Zero, Sierra Zulu Tango, QSL. Roger, Roger, thank you very much. You are 5, 9 and 10 dB. Lovely booming signal, lovely audio here into the central part of the UK. I'm running 10 watts, 10 watts into an NFED antenna. The name is Carl, Charlie, Alpha, Romeo, Lima, QSL. <laughs> Roger, Roger, all copied. Thank you very much for that lovely uh, over, that lovely 
um, conversation. I'm using the ICOM IC705. Yeah, 7-3, bye-bye. <laughs> I have to admit, the this NFED antenna, <clears throat> um, I'm having quite a lot of fun with it. Let's get the sun. So, it's just on there. Basically, it's just going up. Um, the DX commander pole. Um, and it's just coming down at like a 45 degree angle. Um, I'm still using the... It's a bit windy, so it, it's, I'm still using this uh, soda beans wire. And I've got my me, um, me bungee so that uh, it doesn't get whipped out. And that is a nice little setup. I'll just show you this as well. I've stuck on a stuck on one of these anyway, even though I'm only using 10 watts. Because I don't want any rubbish going down this um, coax. How lush is this? <clears throat> I don't know if the GoPro, I won't know till I edit it, if the GoPro can pick up these colours. <clears throat> but that is just superb. And these clouds that are just sitting there, I've got the most magnificent layers of colours. I don't know if the uh, camera can pick this up or not, but over there, a few miles away, there's this factory churning out, just pumping out of the chimney. And every now and again, all you get is just the um, silhouette of the factory in the, in the, in the smoke. Beautiful. Uh, the farm, people are doing farm things still while the sun settles. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've really enjoyed being out here for a couple of days. It's a lovely new location. I will most likely come back again. I'll put all the details in the description below. But thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye for now.